Hello guys and welcome. Today we're gonna talk about how to make music. So if you are a producer or a musician and you need to make music and you struggle in making music, you need to learn about a few. Because music is sometimes made by accident and this is cool. But you you have to learn what you are making, not just throwing things on wall. So basically it's about scales. It's a minor and a major scale. And if you want to learn the minor and the major scale, you get to pay attention. So, let's start with the minor scale. So, each scale starts with a note and ends with the same note but in a higher octave, like this. If I start on A, I have to end at A2. And all the wide gaps notes between them. B, C, D. E, F, and G. So, this is an A minor scale. That's it. If you want to make it an A major scale, all you have to do is the third, the sixth, and the seventh. Third, half step. Sixth and seventh, half step. Now it's an A major scale. We noticed that the major scale tends to be happier, so if you want to make happy music, you have to make it in the major scale, like writing your chords and melodies and bass lines in the major scale. And if you want to make, like something tends to be darker, you have to pick the minor scale, so the minor scale. So let's learn how to make chords out of these scales so let's stick with the minor first and I'm just gonna I select them all and I duplicate and put it on the same scale to fill the piano up. So we have from A0 to A4, and this is, I think, that's enough. Now I'll hit Ctrl A, select them all, and move them to the left. So they behind the cursor, yeah. So they won't play when I hit the start button. Look. So. If you are going to make an A minor scale, this is an A. So if I start with an A, I'll go to the third, and which is the third? This is the first, second, third. So it's gonna be C. And who's the fifth? E. So this is a basic A minor chord. You see? It's simple. So I start with the first. Maybe let's start with the fifth now. One, two, three, four, five. Let's start with an E. That's E. Okay, now we started an E, the fifth of the this scale. Now we're gonna make an E chord. First, the G gonna be the third of the E. And the fifth gonna be the B from the E. So And here we know we, we want to talk about something. You know, this is a far from home, like this is too far from home. So this chord is just like this chord. You see? And this chord is the same as this chord. So if I make this higher see so this instead of this we're gonna make it like this just an octave lower and this chord is the same as this chord so let's hear this is the first A minor chord 
This is the fifth A minor chord. And then we're gonna move. So we started with the A and then the fifth. Maybe I'll go to the sixth and end with the third or the second. Let's go with the F. That's F. This is the first and this is the third of the F. Gonna be A. Okay, and the fifth gonna be C. So instead of this, we can make it like this. You see? It's like more familiar to your ear. To your ear, I'm sorry. And you're gonna know what's next. So let's end this chord. And you want to end it like something back to your home. So we start with the first, and then the fifth, and the sixth, and then we're gonna go back to the second or the third. Like this. This is the third, the scale. One, two, three. Look, it's C3. So the third of the C3 is gonna be E2. And the fifth is gonna be G. Instead of making it like this, we're gonna make it like this. You see, it's a uh, simple chords, but it's just for the beginner. Even drawing note like this is just for beginners who don't know how to make like chords. Now, we made a chord. We want to make a melody out of this chords in the A minor scale. Well, basically your melody should be just in this scale, you don't fill this like black and even if it was white in the major scale, you can't fill it if it's not in the scale. So, uh, to start, you can start with the lead note, it's E, or you can start with the bass note, A, like uh, something from your chord. So, I'll, let's try to... Give this a little bit of volume to hear the melody that we're gonna make. So let's start with the knee. It's gonna be Let's jump to the D and then end it with the C, I think. chords and we made the melody now the bass line gonna be these bottom notes we're gonna take them we're gonna drop them an octave then we're gonna make it an A so it's A to an A Listen. you notice that that these melodies tends to be darker so what makes them darker is that they are in a minor scale and also that the melody have half step relationship so what do I mean by half step relationship that the melody goes from E to the F it tends to be darker let's see with here it's F4 and E4 if I make it and a G4 let's make it more happier like this
Listen now. It's in the same scale of the minor, and it's gonna be sad. But if you take advantage of the half step relationship between each of notes of your melody, it's gonna be tends to be a lot of darker. Like it's it's sure it's in a it's a minor scale, yeah. It's a G four and it's E four, but the it's a step and a half from the E four. So if you make it a half step, it's gonna be tends to be darker like this. I think it's a weak melody and I'm, I don't use this in building chords and stuff and melodies but it's just for a tutorial so it's step by step see I take advantage of this half step relationship here and here and here not, not here, here and here and this is, makes my melodies go and work through with my chords and with the bass line and if you have the MIDI file I think that you're gonna make your song. It's just the bass and the chords, and then you're gonna chop the chords like. So we get let's start to fill the melody and make it like go out to the chords. This thumb, like, make it like go up a little bit and down and then out, like this. Take advantage of the G4, and now the G4, the E4. That's when you're gonna warm up the song, but uh, as the beginning, you're gonna start like something easy. So, today we learned how to make a song in A minor scale. It's in minor scale, and you notice by hearing it tends to be darker. And just remember to use the half step relationship between your melodies and use them in the first, like, yeah it's gonna make it feel like it's go through the chords and guys this is just a simple chord that is like nothing nothing too complex so you have to make it it's so easy and guys if you just look at it you're gonna you're gonna learn it it's just by learning and the more you write melodies and chords the better you get so See you guys in the next lesson and ciao.